Today, I tell you what I feel is the best mod list for your 94 to 04 Ford Mustang. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is John. Please consider subscribing to stay up to date on SN95 news. Today, I'm going to talk about what I feel are the best mods for the SN95 Mustang. All the mods I talk about today will be linked in the video description below. So without further ado, let's get right into the first mod on the list. Hands down, one of the best mods you can do to your Mustang is wider wheels and grippier tires. Not only will this increase your track width, keeping your car more stable, but they will also look good doing it. Larger diameter, wider wheels will make any Mustang look more aggressive and handle like a dream. While the wheels are up to your personal preference, I would highly recommend getting some Federal 595 RSRR tires. I use these tires on the front of my drift car. They are extremely grippy and they are cheap, like cheap, cheap. You could get a set of two of them well when i bought them they were 70 dollars each on amazon well worth it 140 bucks for two tires now i'm sure you want to be able to corner fast and hard in your mustang to be able to do that you need to lower the center of gravity and that's where coilovers come into play now i know what you're thinking hey john coilovers ride like trash well yeah they're gonna ride like trash if you buy trash coilovers get yourself a good set of feel 441s you won't have that problem. They have the proper valving in the shock to take the abuse of hard cornering and track racing. Coilovers will also help you drag racing guys. You can set them up to weight transfer to the rear end so the car squats and gives you a ton of rear grip for those hard launches. For your stance boys, coilovers can aid you in setting your perfect ride height to get an aggressive stance. You're probably thinking, where are all the performance mods? Well, don't worry, I got you. They're coming up right now. Bolt-ons are a great way to increase horsepower. Not only are they a great way, they're a really easy, quick way to increase horsepower. Well, some of them are quick. So how does an engine work? You need fuel, air, and spark. The air needs to get in and out as quickly and most efficient as possible. That's where an intake and an exhaust comes into play. K&N makes a fantastic unit. They have lifetime filters, lightweight plastic intake tubes, and a great look when you pop the hood. I have this intake on my car and it is pretty good. It sounds really neat. It sometimes whistles. It's cool. So now that you have more air coming in, you need to get more air out. And the only way to do that is larger diameter exhaust tubing and a freer flowing muffler. A good header back exhaust system will do just that. Some nice BBK long tubes, a BBK H or X pipe, and an SLP loudmouth exhaust will really wake up your Mustang and let people know that you mean business. In my opinion, it is the best and most aggressive sounding exhaust that you can get for a 94 to 04 Mustang. If you don't like super loud, you can also go with a tamer catback setup like the Flowmaster American Thunder. You'll have that classic American sound without the ear piercing volume of the SLP. If you have a 96 to 98 Mustang GT, chances are you've heard of a PI intake swap. PI intake swap is taking the intake manifold from a 99 to 04 GT and putting it on your 462 valve from 96 to 98. The PI intake or performance improved manifold is a great way to pick up around 15 horsepower for not a lot of money. They can be found new, used, or in performance oriented versions, such as the Edelbrock Victor Jr., where it is an aluminum unit and built more for the performance oriented 4.6. If you do plan to pick one of these up, don't get distracted by the Dorman intake manifold. It is not a PI intake manifold, it is junk. It is crap, they make less power than the PI intake manifold does, and they leak coolant, they leak air, just not a good idea, stay away. So now you got this exhaust, you got the intake, you got all your suspension products, now you gotta get up to speed faster. That's where gears and short throws come into play. In my opinion, gears are the best single mod that you can do to any Mustang. I don't care what year it is, they are the best mod you can do. By doing a steeper gear, you'll get off the line quicker and you'll accelerate way faster than you thought your car could. For a street driven standard transmission Mustang, I would suggest 373 gears only because 410s on the highway, they may get a little wonky. The RPMs may be really high on you when you're doing 60, 70 miles an hour and uh, you're just gonna waste a lot of gas. So the 373s will give you good around town performance, you know, off light to light, stuff like that. I would suggest 373s, but if you have an automatic, you could do 410s just because of the automatic transmission. Now, if you have a drag racing Mustang, you don't care about street drivability. I wouldn't put anything less than a 410 in that. So 410, 456, even up to the fives. All that stuff's gonna increase your trap speed. It's gonna increase your 60 foot. It's gonna get you off the line super fast to jump in front of the opponent. So gears are, like I've said, the best 
bang for buck mod you can do. To be able to shift faster with those faster accelerations, you need a short throw shifter. Basically what a short throw shifter is, it's a regular shifter, but where it connects to the transmission is longer and thus takes less of a throw to go into gear. There are many options to choose from, all of them varying in price and quality. You can get real expensive with a Hurst short throw shifter, spend $350, or an SR Performance short throw shifter and spend about $100. I personally have the SR Performance and I've used it for two track seasons now, going on three. The only little problem I had was one of the bolts came loose and the shifter kind of had some play but I just put some Loctite in the bolt, put the bolts back in, never came loose again, and that was over a year and a half ago. It really depends on your personal preference on what you want. And finally, my last mod on the list are brakes. So you found your new speed, you found your new acceleration, you need to stop. You have to be able to stop. That's where the brake upgrade comes into play. 94 to 98 Mustang GTs don't have good brakes and the V6s also don't have good brakes. So by upgrading to the 99 to 04 GT brakes, you're gonna see a world of a difference. 94 to 98 GTs and V6s have a single piston front caliper. That's a no bueno when you wanna stop good. The 99 to 04 GTs come with a dual piston caliper and a bigger rotor. Now, if that's not enough for you, you can even upgrade to the Cobra. Cobras come with also a dual piston caliper, but they come with a massive 13 inch rotor. The price is also increased to do the Cobra brakes, but whatever route you go with, you will be happy with the results. I hope I was able to help you out and get you some knowledge on what I feel is the best mod list for you to do to your 94 to 04 Mustang GT. My name is John, consider subscribing, and as always, thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.